get all crafty because today I'm going to show you how to make your phone girly and cool. We're going to glam up a bunch of phone cases, headphones, and we're even making a protective pouch. So are you ready for some awesome phone DIYs which for sure you haven't seen before? If your answer is yes, then just keep watching. Let's start off by making a protective pouch for our cell phone. First you need to get any hollow rounded object with the dimensions big enough to fit your phone. This paper cup works perfectly for my Samsung Galaxy S5. Besides, you will also need a glue gun, bobby pins, yarn, scissors, embroidery hook and a needle. Before we start kneading, we need to make a simple kneading loom. Take a cup and a bunch of bobby pins. Start placing pairs of pins on the edge of the cup like so, leaving about half an inch space between each pair. Now it's time to get the glue gun and put some glue over and around each pin to assure they will stay in place while knitting. If you don't have a glue gun, you can just use a tape and wrap it around the cup and the pins. When all the pins are glued in place, wait for the glue to dry and then we can proceed to the fun part, knitting. Take your yarn and, this is optional, a straw. Straw makes it much easier to wrap the yarn around the pins. Cut a piece of a straw and thread the yarn through it. Leave about 5 inches of yarn loose like so and then start wrapping the yarn around each pin and make sure that you have loops on the outer side and the connecting line of yarn on the inner side. See how the straw helps me to quickly wrap the yarn around the pins? When you reach the first pin again, just continue with one more row above the first one. Now take your hook and pull the bottom loops over the top ones. Grab the bottom loop, go over the top one and over the pin like so. If you don't have a hook, you can make one from a piece of wire. Go all around the loom until our first row is finished. Now I need to again wrap the yarn around the pins, but from now on I only need to wrap them once. When all the pins are wrapped, take the hook and pull the bottom loops over the top ones. These are the two steps that you need to keep repeating until your pouch is long enough. Wrap the yarn around the pins, pull the bottom loops over the top ones and again wrap the yarn around the pins so that you can again pull the bottom loops over the top ones. It's so simple! Ok, one final row and my pouch will be long enough for my phone. Here I'm showing you that you can also wrap the yarn without a straw. Takes a bit more time but works totally fine too. I need to pull the bottom loops over the top ones for the last time now and here we go! Cut your working yarn, leaving about 10 inches and thread on a needle. Go under and through the loop that has a working yarn hanging out and pull the yarn all the way through the loop. Then go under the loop next to it on the right, pull the yarn through and proceed to the left. As you do that, you can take the loops off the pins. Just work your way zigzag, go through the right loop, then left one, then right again and so on until all the loops come off the pins. Now the pouch should easily come off the loom. Pull the working yarn so that the pouch tightens on one side in a straight line like so. Thread the working yarn on a needle and make a couple of stitches and knots to secure the work. You can flip the pouch inside out or you can have it on this side if you prefer. The pattern is slightly different and I decided to flip it around because I like it better that way. As you can see we still have a piece of yarn hanging out from the side of the opening. We will attach the pom-pom on it. Just thread the yarn on the needle and make a couple of stitches through the pom-pom. Cut away the extra yarn and we're all done with this beautiful pouch. 
If you don't know how to make a pom-pom, check out my DIY beanie tutorial. It's so easy to make, but adds a little extra cuteness to the pouch. I can now throw my new Galaxy S5 in the back together with keys and other pointy objects and my phone will stay protected and without scratches. Let's continue with beautifying your headphones. You'll need some plastic bits and scissors. Using scissors, cut the bits along like so. Bits need to be from a softer plastic, which is easy to cut and can be opened like this. Just continue cutting the bits until you have them enough to cover the length of your earphones cable. Then open the bit along the cut and place it on your earphones like that. Continue doing this until your headphones are entirely covered with colorful bits. Beads also prevent headphones from getting tangled, which is really useful for me particularly. I usually start using them by spending several minutes untangling them first. Colorful beaded headphones are also super cool to look at. And voila! Now you have the coolest and most unique headphones. Now that our headphones look awesome and we have a cute little pouch for our phone, it's time to show you some quick and easy ways to decorate a phone case. You will need some plastic cases, which are very cheap. I got some transparent, some white and pink ones. First I'll show you how to dress up a plain phone case using a water marbling technique. We're going to make cute water marble stickers. Take a little cup and fill it with room temperature water. You'll also need a phone case, needle and nail polish of your choice. Drip drops of the polish onto the water surface like so. Always aim in the center of the previous circle. You can use two or more favorite colors of polish. I use four bright and happy ones. Pretty cool, don't you think? Then draw in a design with a needle, I'm making a flower. Well, half of it, because I'll only need half of the design. Here I'm making colorful circles, and I decided not to draw anything in, so I'm just leaving it like this. Instead of dipping your finger in the water, as we do with water marble nails, leave the polish on the water surface until it's completely dry. I left it for a couple of hours, just to be sure. Then take the polish off the water and if you want you can cut the edge away like me to make it neater. And you're left with a beautiful sticker that you can stick on any flat surface. We will use them on our white phone case and we don't need any glue for this. The polish tends to stick firmly on the case, especially if it's still a bit wet. And this is how my case looks when all the marble stickers are on. To protect your work you can cover it with a layer of decoupage glue so that the case stays as new for a long time. You can also decorate your cases using washi tape. I'll show you two quick and lovely designs. For the first one, I'll be using this white tape with pinky flowers. So take a case, washi tape of your choice and scissors. Cut a piece of tape and stick it a bit diagonally across the case like so and cut away the excess tape on the sides. Cut another piece and stick it above the first washi stripe, leaving some space between the stripes. And there you have it! You can totally go crazy with washi tape and stick it all over the case or just add a simple detail to the plain case like I did. Either way, just have fun with it! Here for example, I chose this green pattern tape. I placed one piece horizontally across the case and the other piece vertically on the side. Now my phone case looks like a birthday present. When you get bored of your phone case, you can easily peel the tape away and make a new design. You can basically have a new phone case every day. Another way to jazz up a plain phone case is using a scotch tape. Again, you can stick it all over or just make something simple, like this white leopard print stripe that I made. I think it looks so elegant and the thing I like the most is that it took me 5 seconds to achieve it. A super fun case decorating method is using a bunch of stickers. You can get cheap stickers everywhere, probably a lot of them already laying around your house. I have these thick puffy stickers with colorful raindrops, umbrellas and cats. Just stick them on your phone case and look how adorable this looks in the end. A great thing about these stickers is that you can simply switch them up so your phone case can be brand new in a minute. I can't get over how flipping cute this case looks now. 
kind of want to have this bunny umbrella with ears. Now I'll show you how to decorate the phone case with googly eyes. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you. You need a plain case, googly eyes and super glue. First place the eyes on the case just to see where exactly you want to have them. I place bigger eyes on the bottom and then smaller and smaller pairs moving up. Take your super glue, dip a tiny drop on the back of the googly eye and stick it on the case. This case works perfectly for boys too, except you would probably want to choose a different case color. A dark blue or a black would look awesome, as if there were some creepy eyes in the darkness. It's so funny how the eyes move together with the case. For the last DIY phone case idea, you need some picture printouts or magazine cutouts, transparent phone cases, scissors and a pencil. Place your phone on the picture and outline the shape with a pencil. Cut it out with scissors. Try to put it inside the transparent case to see if it fits well. Now you also need to outline any holes in the case, like the one for the camera. Carefully cut the holes out with scissors. I'm just using these little scissors for nails, which give me the most control. Next, place the picture inside the case and you have a beautiful customized phone case. I'm in love with this one. It's perfect for summer and I also wrote a little quote on it. You can have a picture of your pets, favorite animals, your boyfriend, family and friends or your favorite band. Here I have this adorable kitten. And here I made a collage of beautiful summer pictures. You can make a collage of you and your friends to always remind you of happy adventures you have together. I love how this technique allows me to have a phone case full of pictures close to my heart and I can change them up whenever I want. I hope you got some great ideas on how to dress up your phone. I'll be having more awesome DIYs coming up, so keep an eye on that. But before I say goodbye, I have an exciting news to share. Samsung is having a campaign called Galaxy Stories and they are looking for a new YouTube star. To become one, you need to tell your story. So if you're from one of the Nordic countries, go to galaxystories.com and submit your entry as a video, picture or a text. If you decide to participate, post a link to your entry in the comments below with the hashtag Galaxy Stories, because I I get to choose one who will receive a brand new Galaxy S5. How cool is that? You can read everything about the campaign and how to participate on galaxystories.com. Good luck, I love you and I'll see you soon, bye! And another surprise, the winner of the Samsung Galaxy S5 will also receive the pouch and a bunch of cases that I created in this video. So go ahead, tell us your stories!